Thomas Markle threw a bucket of cold water on Haz and Meg faces after slamming their recent childish move. A lot of insults and allegations have been hurled at Meghan Markle and Prince Harry in recent years. Some detractors think the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are just spoiled, while others have gone much further, even accusing Harry of being a traitor to his country. But to their credit, Harry's family members have kept their comments to themselves, at least publicly. Meghan Markle has endured a very complicated relationship with her father, Thomas Markle, over the past few years. The Duchess of Sussex is currently not on speaking terms with her dad, but that hasn't stopped him from making very public statements about his daughter and her husband, Prince Harry, via Insider. Most recently, Thomas spoke out about Meghan and Harry's exit from the royal family, and he didn't hold back, via the US son. I think Harry has abandoned the Queen, his grandmother, the royal family, the British people and the army. He's abandoned them all, Thomas said. All he does now is ride a bicycle around the neighborhood, I don't know if it's much of a life for him either. It doesn't make sense. The two worst offenders, Meghan's father, Thomas, and her wicked half-sister, Samantha, are usual well compensated for their mud slinging. That means the benefits of all this trash talk are twofold. The Markles get to tear down Meghan, whom they're clearly jealous of, and they get paid for doing what they love. Harry and Meghan have been making huge business deals lately, including their newly announced partnership with an investing firm called Ethic. And of course, Thomas would have no idea if Harry helps around the house, as he hasn't had any contact with his daughter in over four years. From there, Thomas doubled down on his bizarre immaturity allegations, calling Meghan childish, claiming that she changed when she met Harry, and slamming her decision to distance herself from her family as ridiculous. Asked what sort of action Meghan should take in order to mend her relationship with her family, Thomas encouraged her to grow up, talk, make up. From there, Thomas reminded us that he's the truly childish one in this situation by claiming that his frequent talk show appearances are his way of forcing Meghan to let him meet his grandkids. I will do a show at least a month, if I can get it through, and eventually sooner or later she'll start talking to me. This is way too childish, this is kind of silly, it's time to talk with each other, we're family, Thomas said on the air. The kids are going to grow up without knowing that they have two families. This is more than just me and my daughter now, this is me and my daughter, her husband and two babies involved now, so it's time to do something. It's time to talk, he continued. I've tried a few times, I don't even know where her mother is at this point, I don't think she's in Los Angeles, or with Meghan and Harry. I don't know where she's at. I have tried to contact her. Now, the Queen hasn't even met Lilibet yet, so Thomas might be waiting a while. It sounds ridiculous to that this guy might think he's more important than the Queen, but you really can't overstate the size of Thomas' ego. For his part, Thomas has consistently spoken to the media about Meghan and, in 2019, the Duchess took legal action after large portions of a letter she wrote to her father were published online. Since that time, Morton says that Prince Harry has become fiercely protective of his wife and children when it comes to media leaks. When it comes to paparazzi, Harry goes into combat mode. He has instantly sued various agencies. One company even filed for Chapter 11. He will go above and beyond to protect his family. Meghan has had an easier ride than Diana ever did, Morton stated. Only time will tell if Meghan and her father will ever be able to mend fences. However, for now Thomas may be forced to speak to his daughter via the media. Maybe for